Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Let us start this lecture with a thought process that uh, uh, your deadliest envy is the best friend who compels you to realize your potential while soiling his own soul. All the time we will be worried about enemies, but they are your friends. So, uh, let us recall what we learnt in the last uh, lecture, we basically looking at how to handle the mass burning rate of the droplet under convective environment and we looked at a basically heat valence at the surface of it and then trying to look at it. It is a very uh, you can say uh, ad hoc solution. So, rearranging the earlier equation we can get basically S c R s by k g and this is L n 1 plus v and this uh, terms you already uh, we had discussed last time. So, if you look at this is nothing but your nozzle number based on the radius at the surface radius of the droplet right. And uh, if you look at this is this term is uh, nothing but your it is basically B right. And uh, so, therefore, I can get N u R s is basically L n 1 plus b divided by b, b is the transfer number. For combustion, we can write c basically, for evaporation, it will be different, right. And uh, this is uh, basically what we have looked at is uh, some kind of a uh, simplified way of looking at it. It does not uh, include the Reynolds number or the parental number, although this will be valid for that what we have seen, right. Um, so, uh, for high Reynolds number, we can uh, plug in some of the relation from the heat transfer to into this, right, and develop a semi empiric relation, uh, which has been proposed as N u L n 1 plus b divided by b, and uh, as I told this we can you can say combustion. Uh, 1 plus 0 0.39 parental number power to 0 0.33 and R e s uh, Reynolds number based on the R s uh, power to the 0 0.5. And this you might have familiar uh, with this thing right, this is generally valid uh, what you call it mimics the experimental data well. So, for the force convection is concerned, this is for the force convection right. And uh, if you want to deal with the basically natural convection, you can express in terms of Grashof number, right? And we will be not discussing about that. And uh, now, if I say that uh, this Reynolds number is uh, much larger than the Prandtl number, right? And uh, then you will see that uh, this expression can be simplified further. That is, I can write down uh, ln 1 plus b c divided by b c plus 0 0.39 parental number 0 0.33 r e r s 0 0.5 and ln 1 plus b c divided by b c, right. And if you look at uh, the first term here, this will be quite small as compared to second term, right. Why it is so? Uh, because uh, if you look at it is L n and then uh, this is a very, very small and this will be quite small, right. right. I will take an example. So, uh, let us see that if B is 7 for example, B value is 7, then what will be L n? Let us say B c, B c plus 1 divided by C 
that will be 0 0.29. Well, let us take another example, uh, B C is basically 2. So, then this term will be ln B C plus 1 by B C will be very, very small again 3 6, right. Because this is a logarithmic term, so therefore, it uh, get compressed and then very small. So, therefore, this is small, you can neglect it and if you neglect that one, so you, you will also say that this will be equal to 1, if not really. So, you will get a n u r s is approximately equal to this one, right. You can use this, provided the parental number is equal to 1, a parental number is very, very small, right, right. And um, so, you can see. Now, what we will do, we will basically look at this um, expressions, right, and uh, see that uh, derive some relationship for a mass uh, burning rate for convective uh, environment, right. So, So, let us derive an expression for the mass burning fuel in the convective environment as, see we know this n u r s, we are taking this relationship here, right, h c r s by k g is nothing but l n 1 plus b divided by b. Keep in mind, I am just using uh, sometimes b, sometimes b c, but it is uh, c stand for combustion. 1 plus 0 0.9, uh, sorry, 1 plus 0 0.39, parental number power to 0 0.33, Reynolds number power to this 0.5. So, uh, let us uh, look at certain things and then find out like how we can relate. For example, if you look at this S C R S by K G, right, already we have done, right, and this is your uh, Nusselt number basically, right. And that is what delta T S C is your uh, uh, convective heat transfer coefficient R S divided by delta T K G. We are just putting delta T here and delta T there, that is all you are doing. And uh, in place of uh, this, we know that uh, delta T S C is nothing but your rho S V S delta H V, right. So, I can in place of this, I can use this one, right. Uh, we have already done that and rho s v s delta h v r s and I am just multiplying uh, c p in the numerator and c p in the denominator and delta t remains same, right. And keep in mind that what is this term? This is basically mass flux of fuel, right. Uh, of course, with convection, right, that we are considering because Nusselt number is there. So, there from that we can find it out, right. And uh, if that is the case, I can uh, write down that as basically uh, uh, as convection and uh, R s, right, and uh, delta H V uh, by I can say C p delta t, because this is delta t I am taking into C p by k g. I am just uh, rewriting these terms, right. And uh, keep in mind that this C p delta t divided by delta H v is what? what is that? That already we have done that is basically C p we know that C p delta t by delta h v is equal to C p f y uh, oxidizer infinity delta s c divided by C p right plus t infinity minus t s and 1 over delta s v, 
right this for delta t i can write it down right so therefore i can uh, now club this uh, this relationship let's say i can say this is uh, equation 1 and this is equation 2 i can because both are same both are basically uh, no sorry uh, this is the not the case this is the case okay this is the case and i can write down here this one and uh, let us say this is 3 right and uh, i can use equation 1 2 and 3 i can write it down as basically f convection is uh, basically uh, if you look at right uh, this is uh, nothing but your uh, b right uh, okay, let me write it down. This is I have already written then R s. This is delta H uh, V by C p delta T C p by k g. I am rewriting right, and uh, this C p by delta T is nothing but your. This is one over B, right? I can write down m dot f convection R s is nothing but 1 over B and C p by k g is equal to what is that? That is basically L n 1 plus B divided by B into 1 plus 0 0.39 uh, parental number 0 0.3 R e R s 0 0.5. So, this will cancel it out and you can get basically a relationship which will be convection is equal to right uh, is equal to k g. Uh, I can take to this side k g by C p and R s and then rest of the terms right uh, that is uh, ln 1 plus b 1 plus 0 0.39 parental number 0 0.33 re rs 0 0.5 and now this is a very nice term for convection if you look at it contains all the terms right both Reynolds number and other things I can say this is equation 4. Now, if Reynolds number is 0, that means it is uh, basically quiescent atmosphere and the uh, what you call 0 g, then uh, for R e R s is equal to 0, right? Then equation 4 becomes m dot f g is, uh, is equal to 0. Is k g by C p R s ln 1 plus b 1 plus 0 0.39 parental number 0 0.33 R s 0 0.5. So, this will be 0. So, then this will be basically k g by C p R s ln 1 plus b. Right, this is equation 5. Dividing equation 4 by equation 5, we can have m dot f convection divided by f g is equal to 0 is equal to very simple term that is uh, 1 plus 0 0.39 parental number 0 0.33 re r s 0 0.5 that is all where this term will be cancel it out and this is a very simple expression which is quite elegant in nature right <coughs> and keep in mind that uh, because of convection this mass burning uh, rate will be increased generally people get 
this uh, you know mass burning rate uh, with convection gets enhanced uh, from around 20 to 40 percent as uh, compared to uh, quiescent case. In other words, the convection plays a very important role for enhancing the uh, mass burning rate and which is of course, the obvious thing and that is being derived here. So, uh, if you look at you can use this uh, thing expression for solving these uh, problems and keep in mind that these are uh, not very accurate. Okay. But however, it can be used for design purposes because it is not available. So, naturally you can use it. So, and it will not be very accurate because of fact that right, uh, this wake region is not being taken care by this uh, analysis. right? Uh, so, therefore, it will be not right and wake will be changed depending on how it is. So, this for laminar and then turbulent you know all those things will be there. And very interestingly, if you uh, you will find out the d square law, you will find out for a force conversion a laminar droplet burning rate follows by d power to 3 by 2 as compared to d square in case of quiescent atmosphere. This is something 1.5 and that is uh, 2. And if we enhance the turbulence level, then it will be 1. Are you getting? So, the it become almost uh, linear the changes in the um, droplet burning time or droplet life time that you can say. So, with this uh, we will look at uh, we have looked at how to take care uh, this uh, droplet uh, you know combustion in a convective environment. Now, we will be looking at basically how we will uh, do in a, sp in a handle the spray combustion in a very simplified way. Uh, the we will be using a, a simple uh, spray combustion model. You assume that uh, this is a one dimensional tube, okay, and of course, it is a circular, it is only varying along the x direction. Keep in mind that this uh, injector or the atomizer, right, this is the atomizer, it is a fuel atomizer, right, is far away from uh, this x position where we are uh, looking at the thing and it says that it is good enough says so that the mono dispersed droplets are available. And keep in mind that mono dispersed droplet really is not possible to have it unless you produce in the lab in a control uh, conditions. right? Uh, but however, for simplicity we are considering. So, we will be making certain assumption before carrying out the analysis. One is steady one dimensional laminar in viscid flow right and uh, that we do all the time. And uh, the mono dispersed droplet as I told mono dispersed means the droplet size distribution will be same right and uh, that is the uh, condition. And of course, you can extend this for the uh, poly dispersed uh, droplet, but that will be quite complex. And uh, pressure remains constant along the, uh, uh, along the x direction during combustion or along the length of the combustors right, which is shown here. Uh, and that we have already done several times. So, this is not a, a bad assumption as such and droplets move with the same velocity as that of the air, because the drop uh, the velocity here at this location this is basically 0 and the velocity will be uh, v naught. This is the uh, uh, you know uh, mixture velocities right fluid will be moving and there is no lagging or the relative velocity between the droplet and this thing. Because what happened if it is v naught here right and droplet may not move at the same velocity, but in this case what we are saying it is also moving with v naught that is the assumption we are making that means there is no difference. Okay. But in real situation it would not be never. Of course, if it is a too small droplet it may possible that it will be the lagging between the droplet and the uh, your uh, uh, fluid will be not there or will be minimum, but uh, okay. 
So, vaporization and ignition begins at x is equal to 0, this is your x, right? Nothing is happening here, it is just mixing, but actually vaporization can occur here itself, once it atomized in the uh, very, you know, after uh, this uh, uh, fuel ejected from the orifice of the fuel atomizer, then it can be started vaporizing, right, once it is pumped. But however, we are saying it is still wet this, and that is for the simplification. And mixing and chemical reaction times are as compared to droplet vaporization time, because basically droplet vaporization will take more time because it is governed by the diffusion, right? And chemical reaction is very fast because uh, we will be using all the time the thin flame approximation, this and also this will be diffusion control. So, therefore, this is the valid assumption one can say. And constant thermophysical properties which we will be discussing. Uh, we will be using there, because there is no other way you can handle. And this is a dilute spray, right. Dilute spray means the uh, droplets will be, it is not a dense spray, right. The uh, number of droplets per unit volume uh, will be very, very less, uh, you know, in the case of dilute spray or the number density. And stoichiometric fuel air ratio we are considering. Then we can take this control volume here, right, and uh, the uh, we can find out basically this is uh, the fuel air ratio is uh, nothing but your F is equal to mass of fuel divided mass of oxidizer, right, and that can be uh, really derived from here, and uh, by this expression it looks to be quite complex, but keep in mind it is very simple because N naught is the droplet number density. That means, number of droplet per unit volume, that is N naught into rho L, rho L is the uh, basically density of liquid fuel, right. And D naught is the initial uh, diameter of droplet. And A, uh, I have taken this cross sectional area and delta x, I have taken this control volume. So, you can look at it, and this is basically uh, this portion is mass of F, and this is uh, basically rho naught, keeping density of fuel air mixtures, right, mass of uh, fuel air mixture, fuel plus uh, you can say uh, air, right, or oxidizer right oxidizer and this is the mass of fuel right this is your mass of fuel so i can write down the basically mf uh -huh. mf is equal to m of a plus oxidizer minus mf right so, uh, we can uh, basically uh, it is a very uh, it can be simplified very easily, but however, it has been done in such a way that if there is a distribution you can integrate right. If there is a variation along the cross sectional area you can integrate also right or if there is a variation right uh, you can do that, but uh, we will be looking at that. That f I can write down as uh, this right. And I can uh, write down this as basically F rho naught, right. I can cancel this out, right. This out, I can cancel it out, rho naught is equal to uh, N naught rho L, I can take out and pi by uh, 6 D naught q is equal to uh, a plus 1, because I am just multiplying here and taking that out, I will get this expression, right. So, uh, therefore, from this I can get very easily n naught number of droplet per unit volume will be nothing but your uh, is equal to n naught is equal to f divide by 1 plus f rho naught by rho l 6 by pi d q right 
and uh, this is uh, will be using this expression uh, i can say this is basically equation 1 now what it indicates it indicates that uh, this is uh, basically you know number density is a function of f and uh, the initial density of the mixture and density of the uh, fuel and uh, of course the initial diameter so uh, the mass conservation if you look at i can this cancel it out i will get basically uh, v not average by v is equal to rho uh, by rho not but what is this uh, v not average uh, this v not average right I can uh, write down this is uh, the average velocity at x is equal to 0, average velocity of uh, uh, fluid right. We will stop over here and we will discuss in the next because it will take more time.